Welcome back everybody, Redthorn here, bringing you Fortress Siege number 64 here in Lineage 2 Revolution. Let's go! So before we begin, we had a big update yesterday. I've got five minutes before, supposedly, the Fortress Siege actually starts. It's been a lot of, uh, a lot of back and forth about whether or not when this actually starts, because the forums say 9.30, the game says 10.30. We'll see that in a second here. The spectate button is actually available. It became available with about seven minutes before start time. So it looks like 9.30. So let's get into this. There are, there were almost eight real fights potentially. It wound down to four. Here are the results of the poll that I took on my server. Ataraxi versus Royal Club. Ataraxi here at number 8, 387.1 million combat power in totality for their clan. Royal Club at number 10, 370 million, 370.4 million combat power in totality for their clan. Boy, that was a huge increase between, I mean, these two were like 5.3 million apart. Now they're 17, a little under 17 million. Let's see what was paid. This is for an A grade fortress and due to the update, yesterday and the day before everyone was kicked out of the fortresses so there are no attackers and defenders here is your bids one million and one adena for ataraxi one million flat for royal club and this is where everything's weird up here at the top it says start wait time two minutes down here at the bottom it says fortress siege start in one hour and three minutes and yet the spectate button is available so we're going to Head into the battlefield. And right here it says 2 minutes and 27 seconds before the beginning of this battle. So I don't know what that Fortress Siege start time. That's a screw up on, on Netmarble. Par for the course I guess. Ataraxi in the blue on the top. The attackers. Royal Club in the red on the bottom. The attackers. I'm going to be following somebody. An attacker. We'll start down at the bottom as I always do. We'll just uh, take it from there. I forgot to check out who the leaders were. By the way, the lag has been absolutely horrendous since this update. I, you can see it happening right now. And I'm not going to be shocked if I experience a ton of disconnects and issues and lag and everything else. There wasn't a small patch this morning. I don't know what it did. It obviously didn't really fix this issue. But I'll be back for the 10 second countdown. By the way, we know who the leader of Ataraxi is. It's Johnny Feller, their their local tank. Right, <laughs> local, right? And here's the leader of Royal Club, Tim. 30 seconds. Oh my god! No way! Look at the top! I can see the total imprint time as a spectator! Woo! That is fantastic! Guess what I can't see? Ten seconds before we begin! I can't see imprint time. Or, uh, you know, artifact. Five seconds before we begin. So I don't know who's gonna have the 10% buff and who's gonna have the 30. Here we go! Fortress Seeds, number 64! Ataraxi versus Royal Club! With Holy Artifact imprint time able to be seen. That is fantastic. But I can't see who's imprinting these artifacts. These altars. I'm sorry. The altars. I can't see who's imprinting. I, it's not there. So we, we traded one thing for another. So I no longer can do a countdown. I, I, I can't do anything with these altars right now, so we'll just kind of wander around. And I guess we'll just have to listen to see who's got it. Which, neither team's able to get them. Oh, that is... That gets me... I'm not gonna lie, ladies and gentlemen. This gets me fucking hot and bothered and wet right now to be able to see the total imprint time for both these clans. I no longer have to make a fool out of myself trying to guess who's winning and who's not. There were a ton of arguments for why we should and why we should not have it. There's no disadvantage to being able to see as a spectator 
the total imprint time between the two clans. Because by the time I call the, uh, the leader of Royal Club and be like, hey, you guys are losing, right? I mean, a little bit too late, right? So that is phenomenal. Neither team able to get any kind of buff go going on here. But these towers are taking a beating. Wow, it took them almost three years to finally allow us to see the imprint time. These towers are doing just fine right now. I have noticed that they uh, they used a different... Well, they just increased the size of the uh, the font. Hunter actually 147 and counting kills versus Royal Club's 100 and counting. I saw a little green stuff. Like, what is that? I don't remember seeing that before. This is all new. It's fantastic. We love it. I feel like that's that that green circle is uh, people calling for help, or or is it whenever somebody starts imprinting that pops up? Because as soon as... I, I think that's what that means. That's, what, telling the other team? Has been destroyed. The red team's defense tower has been destroyed. The altar of Earth has been imprinted. All right, well, there... And... Adaraxi. The altar of wind has been imprinted. 30% buff for the next three minutes or so. For Adaraxi. This tower is going down. The Royal Club managed to get one of the uh, defensive towers. There goes a non-spawn gate of Royal Club. Oh, I can't wait to see this. I'm all giddy with excitement. Holy Artifact Defense Tower is half dead. There's Johnny Feller. And he died. Whoa, Club. Trying to push back Ataraxi. Wow, that's... I'm on the fence about this. They traded the ability to see the altar imprint and time remaining on that altar imprint for the ability to see holy artifact imprint time. I, I'm on the fence about that. I guess you can't have it both ways. I'm going to enjoy this while it lasts, though. There goes the Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Royal Club. And there goes the non-spawn gate of Ataraxi. Oh, that is so exciting. Ten seconds remaining before Ataraxi wins this battle. And interrupted with nine seconds remaining, but got 11.3 seconds. Oh, I love saying that. Oh, that is fantastic. Royal Club at 3.8 seconds. There goes Johnny Feller again.
This also means I need to learn how to do map. <laughs> or I'll just let you all do it. Right now, Ataraxi is 11.3 seconds ahead. Yeah, right. There's no way I'm going to be able to do that. Alright, looks like everyone's trying to get The Altar of Earth has been imprinted. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. with a ten percent buff. Royal Club getting some more time. I apologize for yelling. I was super excited to see that. And now I gotta guess. If they get the 30% buff, then I have to guess how long they get it for. If they get it. Oops, well, Royal Club got a little chunk of time, but Johnny Feller responded in, in kind. Back again. Get a large chunk of time here. Eight seconds before Adder actually wins this battle. Oh, interrupted at six seconds, but a huge amount of time right there. They have tripled the amount of time that Royal Club has. Interrupted at nine seconds again. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The altar of earth imprinting. Now a lot of people well I won't say a lot. There are people who believe that the ability of a spectator to see this ruins the surprise. Especially for YouTubers like me. I disagree with that statement. The blue team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. Because if it's a blowout, then it doesn't really matter who can see the Holy Artifact imprint time or not. And if it's not a blowout, and it's going, you know, it bounces between the two clans, then it's super exciting up until the end regardless. So it, it, there is no disadvantage to a spectator being able to see the Holy Artifact imprint time. And right now we are witnessing a blowout. Eight seconds for Adorax, he wins this battle. Five seconds. Four. Interrupted at four seconds. 82.1 to 19.2. And I have absolutely no idea who has a 10 or 30% buff. It's like no clue. There's no icons, so... Oh well. We're back down to the 10 second countdown. Five seconds for Adorax, he wins. Three seconds, two seconds. 
And congratulations to Adorexi for successfully taking the A Great Fortress. Here are your stats. Congratulations to nobody for taking the number one spot. Yeah, Net Marble, you do definitely have some work cut out for you. But at least you get to hear me say, there's a bunch of dashes on both sides. <laughs> Because there are a bunch of dashes on both sides. So I have no idea who took number one. Obviously the people at the top. So we're going to take a, a wild guess here. Uh, congratulations to Bo... I don't know. To Bojob, sure. For taking number one. There are your stats. So let's see who else uh, Who else won. I know no, nobody in the Bs was, was a fight. Fira won theirs. Omega Squad won theirs. Congratulations to those two individuals. Korea... Notorious Dynasty. I don't remember if one of these is an actual real fight or not. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And hit me up on Discord or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.